What's going on, everybody? It's Lauren with the TMF Podcast. Now, I just got home from jujitsu, and I already did my stock video. And then I pull up YouTube, and I see Matt Kors has a video here. And then I saw some comments on online, and I was like, I got to look at this. So, let's talk about the shareholder count. And he highlights a spot in this memo here and talks about it. I'm going to turn this up so hopefully we can hear it. Let me see if this works. Here under Newsroom. More than 80% of AMC shares are held by a broad base of retail investors with an average holding. Okay. I'm going to stop it right there. 80% are 501 million. All right, let's move on. Retail holders hold, it says, possibly more than 80%. Let's just say it's 80%. Keep that number in mind. Of 120 shares. Matt, why does this matter? Well, let's hop into a little bit of math. And just so you know, this isn't my own math. but I Okay. This is, not, this is not his own math. So he's using someone else's math. 501 million. 780,000, 240 shares. Retail owns 80%. That's what we're going with, 0. 0.8. That number is 401-424-192. You cannot take the total number of retail people there and multiply it times their average. It's not how that works. It's just not. It doesn't, that does not math. Right? Let's go back. 120 shares. 120 shares. We divide that by 120. 3.345 201. 3,345,201. Because some people own more than 126. Some people own far less. They're saying the average is that. If that's correct, why would this statement say more than? It would say exactly how many. Because the math is just, it's not, that's not a real number. If it's 401, that's a big difference. That's 92 million share difference. Keep that in mind. Matt, if you look at it, AMC at the current price, total shares 502 million. Well, when you look at retail, major holders and insiders, short interest and insiders. Where are these numbers? Where are these numbers in the, in the document? Are we just making these numbers up? Because it seems like we're making these numbers up. Why don't we have an actual number? Because the share count is not complete. That seems to be the most logical thing here. Now he said, I can look this up. So I think we should look and it if up. You yourself, feel free to fact Where is it which at? was June 2nd. You will be able to vote as early as June 16th. Now, with all that being said, here's the interesting line I really, really want to bring to your attention. Once again, you can find this yourself. Feel free to fact check me. It's on the AMC's website right here under newsroom. AMC under newsroom. Let's find it. Okay. We have it right here. So this is where it's a little bit uh, hmm, interesting. This is where when he says this is not my math, just taking himself out of the equation, right? As previously disclosed, as of June 2nd, 501,780,240 shares outstanding. As of June 2nd, there were approximately 4.1 million individual shareholders. There is an asterisk there, okay? This uh, information has reported to AMC by brokers through their proxy intermediaries that are eligible to vote. So on the date of June 2nd, 4.1 million people held it. Advanced voting began, blah, blah, blah. AMC's definitive, blah, blah, blah. More than 80% of the shares are held by a broad base of retail investors with an average holding of around 120 shares. Some hold more, some hold less. However, each and every shareholder is important to AMC. Each shareholder is a critical role and blah, 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 and voting and yada, yada, yada. Okay. So what does that mean? That doesn't mean that it's just me and you. It means there's other conglomerates that are going to hold this. So when we go to his math, okay, let's go More a little bit holding forward. This 102 million. Well, I'll, I'll correct that. When we go to not his math, where are these numbers? Where's major in holders and insiders coming from? Where's insiders coming from? We have insiders and major insiders. That doesn't add up. 
when you look at retail, major holders and insiders short have a hundred and seven letters, but I would think that it's worthwhile to look into a hundred and seventy four percent ownership. You would think that would be something worth looking into. Problem is, is that this isn't real math. This isn't a real document. And this is what bothers me about AMC movements. This is what bothers me. It doesn't bother me that the stock goes up. It doesn't bother me that people want it to go up and you guys want to hold together and do something great. That does not bother me. What bothers me is this isn't a real document. And you're on YouTube telling people that this is real, but also not your math, but also look into it. Give me a real number kind of interesting worthwhile for them to look into it and once again you could take your own conclusions from this this is my own conclusion my own conclusion is that's not a real number is it over 100 100 traded probably odds are probably are there 492 million shares currently being held by retail investors as of today unlikely the shock the stock price says unlikely that's just the reality. On June 2nd, what was the stock price? What was it? Let's go back and look because I do not remember. June 2nd. I know it wasn't up here in the 40s. Let's go look. Let's freaking go back. June 2nd, right here. Closed at, that was the highest. 69 bucks. Closed at like 68 or something. Doesn't even tell me. I don't know how to go back and look at this, but. It, uh, it closed up here at least, right? High sixties, high sixties. In which case this number might make, might make, maybe that was a lot owned it. Right. And right now owned by retail, not 492 million shares guarantee you not owned that many. The stock price at $47 says some people sold the shit out of some shares. That's it. And maybe it wasn't your apes. Not all retail traders are hodlers. Get that through your head. And it's frustrating because this isn't real. The data and they were actually shorted. Yeah. Oh, let's go on Twitter. Real document. Where? Where's a real document? Ortex unexplicably high short interest implies that these shares returned in this period were uh, a typically not shorted shares, but instead shares that were borrowed, but not shorted. So they're talking about naked shorts, of course, but also no data to prove it. That's what's frustrating about this entire movement. And I keep saying it, you're playing a game against an opponent that is better than you. That also changes the rules. They don't play by your rules. Guess what? It's 9.30. Guess what happens at 4 a.m.? All kinds of stuff. Because right now, between 9.30 and 4 a.m., shit's happening in the market. And it affects you. And you can't do anything about it. This is yes, crazy. What else do they have here? I didn't, uh, I didn't mean to do that. Let me go back. It's going to make me freaking go through this stupid With shit. Thunder. Hold on a second. Get through this ad. So dumb. But it's frustrating, right? <coughs> Where is information? Of course, there are some new shorts that might be up on the position. Yeah, but no overall, shit. the majority of shots have not only been paying the cost and borrow fee, but on top of that, just the position as a whole. AMC is up 406%. It's up a we lot. Perfectly in this wedge. In fact, today, one. Two Bro, you draw a wedge every day. You just move the goalpost. Every AMC hodler moves the goalpost. The wedge used to end here. Then the wedge ended here. Now the wedge ends here. The wedge is getting just, they just move the lines every day. We just redraw a line. Ah, oh, well now it has to stay in this line. It used to be a different pattern. Look, Fucking zoom out. It's frustrating. And I'm frustrated because people are watching this and they're using their money and they're, some of you are losing money. I'm losing money in AMC for sure. It's not, it's nothing to do with Matt cores, trace trades, any of them guys. It's nothing to do with them. 
It's my own decision to YOLO some shit. All right. Look, here's a wedge. Here's a, here's a different wedge. Let's fucking, let's move it even lower than that. Look, here's a wedge. We can go, oh, let's go out here. Let's keep it in this wedge. Oh, let me move this. Hold on. We got to get more. It's got to go higher because I'm running out of room for my freaking wedge. There we go. Let's draw that wedge. Or we could take this wedge and we could have drawn it a couple days ago. Oh, look at that pennant. Did it break out of that pennant? No, it didn't break out of it. It didn't. It does not have to. It could go this way. And then this one can go this way. And then tomorrow we could draw another one that goes like, oh, no, I hope I don't fall. It could fall. Be realistic. We're putting out numbers. We're putting out data. This isn't real numbers. This is not. You notice that AMC did not put out a complete definitive share count. They didn't. Oh, up uh, 80% or more held by retail investors with an average. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Show me a number. It's math. This is all digital. We live in a digital world. You know what Two, the number three, is. Our fourth hit off this bottom wedge. And also, pre basically, not only is it our technical. Technical. This next it doesn't tomorrow care. And for the <laughs> remainder of the week. Due diligence. I'll make sure to post the links in the. Look, I promise you, you follow that wedge. That wedge is falling, Bo. That wedge is falling unless something drastic happens. The wedge is down. Okay? That is what is happening. Look, let's move it down here. We're going to be at this wedge. You're going to be at 30 bucks. Follow the wedge, and then it'll hit this, and then it'll do something special. Maybe maybe it'll do this. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, give me that. All right. It'll look like this. That's the wedge. Honestly, it doesn't care. Look at the stock. It gives no fucks. Why are we still making up numbers? I don't understand. I don't understand. Stop making up numbers. If there's actual data, give me the data. Look, Weeble knows. Weeble posts on here. Flea float, float 499.98 million. Where'd that number come from? They just making that up? I want to know. It's all digital. Nobody is going to a ticket counter and buying shares and getting them and then taking them back and trading them. 100% digital. You know exactly how many shares are out there. Don't lie to me. It's frustrating. We live in a world of technological advancement where people are going to go to freaking Mars. And you can't tell me how many shares of your company are out there? Come on now. People, we got to be smarter than this. We have to be smarter than this. And I get it. Matt Kors has a big following. Like, dude, has so many subscribers. 290,000 subscribers. 290,000 people just watched you talk about numbers that are not real. You made them up. Ah! If you're going to be on YouTube and you're going to be an influencer and you're going to talk about a stock or a single stock, please, please, please use real information. Jesus Christ. What's look, let me just let me just do this math. I'm going to do this real quick. Because five, 492 million divided by 501 780 240. All right. Also, keep in mind this number, 165, 587, 479, it's pretty exact. It's a pretty exact number. This number, 115, 409, 455, it's a pretty exact number. 501, 780, 240, it's a pretty exact number. This 492 is not. Do the math! Fuck! Over 80%, that's 98%. That's not 80%. If AMC came out with a document, and it said, retail traders own 98% of our company. But also, major holders and insiders own 115 million shares. You're like, well, that doesn't math. And insiders hold this much. Where did they get their shares from? Who bought them? Who is holding shares that are not real? Who bought them? Where are they? And then they have all these, all these shorts. Look, none of that math adds up. Am I the only one who sees this? 
This shit does not make sense. You're telling me AMC gave you a number and you just made up your own number based on what? I, 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 I'm frustrated. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Look, if I'm wrong and this is the, uh, the freaking golden goose and tomorrow AMC goes to freaking $200. Great. My calls will be worth something. I won't lose all my fucking money. However, I'm going to lose all my money because that's not real. That right there is not a real number. It's a made up number. And it's frustrating because we live in a world where that shouldn't happen. So I'm angry. I'm angry at that. Meanwhile, you're playing right into their game. This is the game. Oh, and the SEC knows that that's not real. That's why they're not looking into 174% stock being traded. Come on now. Come on. Come on. If there's 500 million shares and you trade volume is over 500 million shares. Stands to reason that 100% of your shares were traded that day. Back and forth. Up or down. Right? And they tell us that in order to sell a stock, you must have a buyer for the stock. Now, the stock goes down because people buy the bid. You own a stock. The stock's at $49.32. The bid is $49. So you sell it to somebody for $49. That inherently makes the price go down. It's worth less money. If I have a car, the car's worth $10,000. And I sell it for $8,000. It's an $8,000 car. The only thing that makes it a $12,000 car is if the guy who bought it for eight can somehow sell it to some other guy for 12. But if he drives it around and he hits a curb, curbs a rim, or backs into a light pole, it's now a $5,000 car. Maybe you can find someone to fix it up and make it a $7,000 car but it'll never be a $12,000 car. That's how we can trade so much volume and the price go down. How does it go down? I don't know. You keep selling it to other people for less. Let me tell you something. Every time you go on the internet and you look for a deal on something and you drive the price of that item down and you feel good that you got a good deal, right? It drives the overall value of the item you bought down. That's how we can trade a hundred over a hundred percent of the stock that's available and it just goes down, which is why people want you to buy the ask because the ask at 49.32 is higher. And we, yeah, we're not even going to see it on here. Um, we kind of see it on here <coughs> on the level two data, uh, barely. And if you can, if I can zoom it up, maybe you can see it. There's not, since it's markets closed, so this is all just nonsense anyway. We got, we got someone here asking $53 for a thousand shares. Someone wants to sell a thousand shares for $53. Someone would like to buy five shares at $42.57. If this person succeeds in selling or buying five shares at $42.57, the stock will go down. If this person succeeds at selling, a thousand shares at $53, the stock will go up. That is how this works. In no way, shape, or form do the shorts that are short positions in this have to pay this number. That is clear. They do not have to pay this number. The only reason they cover and the stock goes up is because they have to cover such a vast number of shares. If you sell in, if they go and buy, 5 million shares at whatever the stock ticker is, it's going to go up. It has to go up because they bought so much at that singular price. It goes up. Awesome. Then they can continue to buy it downward. Keep buying it down and they eat up shares. By you holding it, it gives them less shares available to buy. But as you can see, they don't care. They move the goalposts pay off the ref, they play their own game, they're better at it than you. You have to change the way you trade these stocks. That's what I'm saying. I looked at AMC and I did a video about it earlier, and I'm telling you right now, 
I am telling you, this right here, that stock. Oh, hold up. Let me freaking zoom out of here. This right here, this box we just got sucked into for pretty much one, two, three, four days. Four days. Well, three days. I call it four days. Four days. That box, that box just burned options. They sold them options. The options will expire worthless. They will pocket the premium for the options. They win. It's a new game. It's a new game. Rule book is incomplete. They do what they want. That's why we're losing. Period. If you disagree, please tell me. We'll talk about it. If you do agree, cool. Look, I'm not a huge technical person as far as like studying it for decades. But I know some fucked up math when I see it. I can math that shit. So I'll see you guys later.